Number 25. Use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. Here we have figure A is 1 cube, figure 2 is 3 cubes, figure 3 is nine cube, uh, 6 cubes, figure 4 is, is 10 cubes. If the pattern continues, how many more small squares are in figure, pardon me, if the pattern continues, how many more small squares are in figure 100 than in figure 99? And it gives us some possibilities. 98, 99, 100, 101. For this particular problem, it's one of my favorite problems, I'm going to do a slightly um, unorthodox method. I want to use a, a mental bridge to help me connect 1, 2, 3, and then generalize to 99 and 100. This is what I mean. There's a lot of different ways I could approach this, but I think this is the easiest way. First, I'm going to build my bridge. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. And we're going to do dot, dot, dot. And we're going to have something on the lot, some, some amount of cubes that's going to represent 99. Something like that. And we're going to make a bridge from there to another set of uh, lots of cubes that's going to represent 100. Because it's asking us, if the pattern continues, how many more small squares are in, are in 100 than in 99? So we're going to try and find out what this x is. How many more are in 100 than 99? So let's Let's start with this pattern. Let's see. Well, first of all, how many more are in 2 than 1? Well, in this one case here, I add 2 to the 1, and I get the amount that's in 2. Would everyone agree that there, uh, I'm adding 2 here because there's 2 more blocks in this one to the 1? How about for 3? Looks like this one, 3, has 3 more than 2, so I'm adding 3. How about for 4? Looks like 4 has 4 more than 3, so I'm adding 4. Now let's see if we can develop our, our land bridge. Here's how it goes. From figure 1 to 2, I add 2. From figure 2 to 3, I add 3. From figure 3 to 4, I add 4. From figure 99 to 100, I add, what is it? What do I add? Let's see if we can do the land bridge again. I could tell you it, but I want to see if you can just say, oh, I get it. Let's do it again. From figure 1 to figure 2, I add 2. From figure 2 to figure 3, I add 3. From figure 3 to figure 4, I add 4. From figure 99 to 100, I add 100. Well, here's the trick that I found, the pattern that I found, is that for every new one, I'm adding the figure, the amount in the figure to that one. So figure 2 is 2 more than 1. Figure 3 is 3 more than 2. Figure 4 is 4 more than 3. Figure 100 is 100 more than 99. I'm using language to help me build a pattern, and I'm helping to use that, that sort of uh, language bridge to help me answer this question. Well, uh, you can take that strategy or, or try your own. There's many ways to do this, but I, I, I like that one a lot. Hopefully you'll use it. It's a great strategy to use in this case right here. It's sort of a eliminates a lot of the math behind the problem and focuses on a real strategy to solve this type of problem.